What's up? This is Truth, and welcome to another game of Risk. Today, we're playing Classic Fixed with Semi Auto set up, so we get to decide where we want to put our troops. This way, we don't get noob slammed early for a continent as somebody else wants. Uh, we are the first player in uh, the black player in the first position. Uh, looks like green's gonna be going for Australia. White seems to be going for either Europe or North America. I think Africa is a good play for me, so let's just go there. I want to stay out of everybody's way. We've got a blizzard here, so Africa's kind of honeypot a little bit because we don't have to guard from south america hitting us cool and it looks like orange will probably go for europe oh purple adds in north america as well i think we're gonna see some slamming here oh look at this australia is also kind of a honeypot because it's up to india that's the one point guard at india yes 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 not join it good idea what <laughs> so unpredictable i was looking for a caps game so i can snipe not jo okay man okay man Semi auto setup really allows you to have a good start that no, you don't have to worry about getting noob slammed. Should we guard Africa or should we like stack on Middle East after we take it? I think guarding it is ideal. That way nobody can see a free break that they can just take. Purple is adding all in Europe, North America, and South America. That's kind of goofy. They're probably going to be the first player out. Is this a repeat? I'm confused. What's up, free money? Been lifting big weight play, uh, what? <laughs> Purple's playing progressive. <laughs> Probably. So we're going to be ending this with a 14 stack. Pink's also adding here. This is kind of weird. Adding to India. You might get sl slammed by the Australia player. No Australia, no win. All right, we added everything. Now we're about to see some smacking. Let's make alliances with everybody before we get wrecked. Yes, heart. Heart. Okay, let's just take Africa really quick and let's act like a noob while doing it. So we'll hit and wait and maybe split off like five. Hit and wait and hit and wait. And hit. And wait. And hit. And split. And do we hit Middle East? No, I don't think we get in people's way. I think we're happy like this. I don't think we get smacked and we just guard everything. Very nice. I just read that all you need to do is take all territories to win. You're welcome, pro player right here. Thanks for that advice, Mystify. Appreciate that. All right, so purple's getting their four smacked by orange, most likely. I'm just a friendly Africa player here. No enemies in sight. We're just gonna be a chill, friendly guy and wait for everybody to kill each other. Okay, he's not smacking the purple four. He's taking his time. Well played, well played, Orange. Too slow, they know you're a GM now. <laughs> okay, what does purple do with their turn? Stack in North America? Could be good. Just gotta hope that white's not crazy enough to smack him. And moves out of Europe, right? Fortifies out? That's a big play. If he does it, he doesn't lose his four. Nope, doesn't fortify out. Okay, I think Orange is going to slam that. Let's send Orange a heart. We didn't send him a heart yet. Pink's going to get the one point guard, South America. This is basically an Australia honeypot. So if anybody takes North America, they can just get, um, in the words of Kilted, again, ramdingled from behind by the pink player. Okay. Green gets the easy turn one, Australia. Surely he's moving up to India. Yeah, he sees the guard. He gets good dice on the three. Yeah, per pink adding there didn't make much sense. Very good spot for a for, uh, green player. I'm afraid of him now. <laughs> I am quite afraid because he can probably feel emboldened to break me because I'm not going to be able to retaliate on him without super sighting. So how come people only ever get ram dingled from behind? Why not ram dingle them from the front or the side? That's the whole meaning of ram dingle, right? That's the whole meaning of it. It means from behind, right? You get smacked from behind. That's a ram dingle. Let's take a card up here. Let's in green another heart. So we can be friends. Green got the outs getting big. I don't know what that means. I have no idea what that means. I don't know about that, man. Somebody's been under the influence. Okay, I think he's moving into Europe. Yeah, pink, purple's dead. He's wasting too much troops. 
White gets the North America, but he's probably gonna get smacked by pink if he takes it. And purple's like, screw you, orange, I'm taking Europe. Confusing gibberish, yeah. Okay, pink takes the one point guard all the way up in Eastern United States. Wow. Never mind, he goes back. <laughs> okay. Oh. No way, dude. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it. He's, he's thinking about it. <laughs> he was thinking about it, guys. He didn't do it. Okay. Okay. Too bad. He's blocking pink, though. Pink will smash. I think so. Pink will smash. Oh, look at us. Lucky us. Love that. Set on three. Ten plus ten. Do we kill purple? Mm hmm. I think we kill purple, guys. Let's hope orange moves out of the way so it's easier. No, okay. I might have to hit an orange three. Yeah, I think we want to kill purple for three cards. Just get a player out of the game. Maybe purple waste some more troops. Smack orange. Smack orange. Smack him. Smack the four. Okay, maybe we wait. Maybe we stack on North Africa and then we wait to see if he's weak enough. Because most likely he doesn't have a set on three. Well, he's a noob, so maybe he, maybe he, the chances of him having a set on three are actually very, very high. If you let purple live, he might go back into North America. That's a good point. He might. And we probably don't want that. We probably want purple to get out of this game. <laughs> Why'd you trust the 3v1 for your card, bro? Oh, he moves back in. He moves back in, so white can take North America now. Wow. Okay. So maybe we remove pink from here so he has no other options but to smack, smacky smack white. That could be a good move. Yeah, white's gonna take North America. That's what he was doing. He was threatening him. He's like, hey man, you better move the heck out of my way because I'm taking NA no matter what you say. He's trusting a 3v1 too. Wait, he doesn't take North America. He, he forgets to split. He forgot to split. Okay. Hmm. So let's remove pink from here, just so we can't get a card. Let's also trade in. Put everything on North uh, North Africa. Smack and fortify for the kill next turn. So we set in on turn if we kill purple, as long as he takes a card. I almost wonder if we could kill orange too. This game is about to blow up. Somebody's gonna smack somebody. No trade, no trade, no trade. Oh my god. I told you guys. Oh, it was the four trade though. It was the four trade. Okay, good thing I didn't kill him because I'd probably get a four trade after killing him. But I'm telling you guys, the noobs always have the set on three. They always have the set. We could work with green maybe? If, if we get green to attack orange, we could say attack orange and then we could take him out on our turn. Get a player into the game. Progress the game a little bit. Noobs only lose one troop when attacking 7v5. <laughs> yep. Okay. Okay. Oh! 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 He doesn't finish him off though. Okay. <laughs> he just got wrecked. What was that? That was uh 25 on 19. He went positive three. Dang, dude. He's like, screw you. The slammy slam. There you go. That's how you spell it. <laughs> you guys don't know how to spell. You don't know English. Come on, Oliver. Get get better. Do better, man. White's still in this. What are the odds I take him out? I'd have to go through the eight. I sit in on turn, then I kill orange. I kill orange first, then I kill white. Well, I, I win two 3v1s, right? I, surely I win two 3v1s. Okay. One of two, at least, is what I meant. Okay. Oh, that was some good dice, dude. Only lost two on an eight. Oh, man. All right, and there's the 10 set. And then we take out white. And then we take out... Oh, I slider wrong. Then we take out pink. And we take the North America honeypot all for ourselves. Maybe? gosh I am getting the noob dice what the heck is going on
<laughs> Only lost three on nine. Oh my god. I think I'm a noob, guys. I think I'm a noob. Holy crap, what a turn. <laughs> oh my god. Truth, you forgot to turn off hacks. Pink, a oh, purple heart. Heart, heart, heart. I'm gonna ask Green to, att to attack purple so he can get second place. Yeah, cool. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, and don't unlock green. Good job. Don't unlock green's 28 towards my 13. Perfect. So he can only kill me through you. Well played. Dude, I got insane dice. What the heck? We have almost double- We do have doubled their troops. We're gonna win next turn. What the heck? Heart. Attack purple. I'll give you a second. <laughs> oh my gosh. He might just go into me, which is completely fair. I got a 10 set. Up. This game is over. It's over. Yeah, he's going for a second. Well played, Green. Well played. Yeah, that game was over anyway. If he were to break me and everything, then I just kill one of them and go into the 1v1 and win. What the heck? How do you turn on easy mode like this? You just filter out all the grandmasters, man. Good game. Well played. Sweet, sweet victory. Beginner, 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 intermediate. This is how you turn on easy mode, guys. I didn't filter out Grandmasters. I just filtered out novices. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video.